something a little bit different, a little bit of boat maintenance, gel coat repair. So on latitude adjustment, we have several places that we get these real small hairline cracks in the gel coat. They're right there on the transom steps. There's a few around this little inspection port right here. You can see them coming out of the, the corners. We have this one place right here where the gel coat is cracked off of the hull on this corner and just various spider cracks around the deck. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use some white gel coat with the wax so that sets up nicely. Uh, I have a Dremel with a little burr tip on it and we will grind out the crack a little bit. And I'm first going to try this in a few inconspicuous areas and then if it works well we'll come back and uh, do some other areas. We'll see how it goes. up here around the stanchion. I basically ground through all the cracks that I can see, followed all the hairline cracks down the side of the boat. There were a couple going across here. And you can see I didn't take off a lot of material. I just got through the gel coat, make sure I couldn't see any more cracking. There's a crack there that I missed, so I'll go back and touch that up. And there's a hairline crack here that I missed, so I'll do a couple more little spots. All I'm going to pour is just a little bitty bit. Now this is a MEK peroxide additive. Basically this will cause the gel coat to kick off. Bit. Maybe like three or four drops at the most. And the goal is to get it to sit a little bit higher than the surrounding surface. But as I can tell already, it's going to be just a smear it on and hope for the best type of a, a setup. So my biggest disaster so far is that the little plastic cups that I'm using to mix the gel coat is getting eaten up by the gel coat. So all we're trying to do is fill all the little voids And we don't have to be too neat with it, as the next step is going to be to grind it all off, or sand it off, with a block sander. I think I've touched it about as much as I risk. Okay, I would say that's good. So now, we'll take it. I'll hard. All the spots are super hard. So now what we're going to do is wet sand it all and get it smooth. We'll start with a 150 wet dry paper and we're just trying to get everything level. Then we'll hit it with a, like a 1200 and then a 2000 and then we'll polish it. Here we go.
up about all the sanding we need with the 150 grit. And I'm just going around one more time, make sure that I don't feel any ledges because basically the next sandpaper, all we're trying to do is remove the scratches from the 150. We're not trying to remove any more gel coat. That's it.